if you were to, to write an RFP or some proposal, let's hypothetically say someone comes to you and says, hey, uh, you know, write me a, a proposal for your services on what you do and how you're gonna add value and blah, 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 blah. Right, I'm a big face-to-face guy, get on the phone guy. I'm not a big create a relationship by emailing each other, right? I, I just, I think it's insensitive, right? It's great, it's a good use for certain things, but to build relationships, you gotta see people, you gotta talk to people, and that's how you grow, as colleagues, as friends, right? But there are times where these huge brands will ask to submit an RFP, RFP's request for proposal is what it means, right? And you have to think about this in a way, and it's the same thing of, of, of this chapter of writing the book, that whatever you put down on paper, whatever you write in that proposal, whatever you put in that chapter, you need to do it in a way that whoever you give that to, they're gonna give it to their boss and their boss and 10 other people who are going to read it. And if there's going to be questions that are gonna be asked from the proposal, then you didn't do a good job, right? You have to think about it in a way that when you're submitting something like that, you need to answer the questions that you think are going to be asked because you're not going to be there. It's a, it's a one-time, one-shot thing, right? One opportunity. 